good? All right, my name is Mr. Leslie, and we'll be going over a sport uh, style lesson today of flicker ball. Uh, with flicker ball, it's dealt with either a football or a rugby ball or some type of ball where you can catch and throw. So I'm going to have Stevie go ahead and grab this volleyball right here and get back in mind. So today we'll be playing with a volleyball, and what we'll be doing for our skill building lesson for the sport activity is we'll be doing route running, and that has to do with the game because in the game, throwing it to your teammate while they're running. So that has to do a lot with football, where you're running a route and catching it. So I'm gonna have one of you guys be like the quarterback per se, and be in the middle right here. So Stevie, you could be the quarterback first, and then you three. Go ahead and line up and run running the pass. So twice, you guys, go ahead and bring it in again. Go ahead, Nolan. And then Connor, go ahead. Excellent. So now you guys bring it in. All right, so what you guys did there was route running. So you guys are catching, throwing. In a way, you're communicating because you're throwing it to your teammate, and that's going to be applied to the game because that's how you're going to be scoring your points. So in flicker ball, it's a lot like football in the sense that you're running and you're holding the football. And it's a lot like basketball where you have to move, you know, with the game. So that's how you're going to be moving forward. And the whole point of it is the offense will be scoring into that goal. So you're going to be throwing it into the net. And I have two towels set up, so that you have to aim in between the net for a point. And then as soon as you score, the other team's going to get possession and then they're going to try. So what I'm going to have you guys do is we're gonna play the game for real now. So I'm gonna have Connor and then Marley be on one team and then Stevie and then Nolan on one team. So I'm gonna have you guys stand on this side so we have more room. So the defense, I want Nolan and Stevie to be on this side and Connor and then Marley to be on this side. So just get on the other side of there, right one. And then you guys get on the other side of the net. So this will be like, imagine like there's a giant wall right here. Otherwise, the other team gets the ball, so then you're going to be passing it and blocking it like that. 
Excellent. So if Stevie blocked it right there, so where you couldn't get it, Marley, and it touched the ground, it would be oh, their ball. Yeah. So then they would start on top with it. Is, oh. there, is there a certain amount of steps we're allowed to take? Nope, this is unlimited steps. So as long as you keep going forward, you can keep moving. However, we're going to get up awesome. and it passes you. <laughs> so now what I want you guys to do, since you guys have a better idea of how to play, I want you guys to go full speed. We'll go up to three points, and whoever gets three points first wins. All right? So when I blow the whistle, you guys may begin. Go ahead. You can move forward, Nolan. You can move forward, Nolan. Oh! Oh, so since it went over the net and it missed, and it went where our out of bounds is, the other team will get the ball automatically. Oh. Blow the whistle again, go ahead and start. gets the first point will have the um, be the winner, okay? Okay. Go ahead. So what I would try is throw the route running, so if someone's faster than the other person, you can have them go or call it. Oh, uh, so it went over again, so that means they missed, so that other team would get the ball again. You guys are learning psychomotor skills such as your running, your throwing, your catching, doing physical activities. That has to be a part of it. It's cognitive. You're thinking about it, like your strategies and whatnot. I mean, if you guys have started strategies or not, you're thinking about how to score another team, and it's effective. You're being social. You're working with your teammates, and good job. You're being, you're being, you're giving constructive criticism for them to get better, and that's the three functions with it. And you guys are good. Thank you guys. And then. The way that you modify those activities for other students, you do hand gestures for those who don't understand, you know, if they have EL uh, speaking problems to where they don't understand English, you give them the, you know, sign gestures or sign language. Um, and yeah, that'll be it. Or those with physical disabilities, you give them a different style of play. You fit them with uh, people that are, that are their skill level. So that's something else that you can modify with it. And then that'll be it. Thank you very much.